great to be here. Thanks for the warm welcome. Um, fantastic. I've never been to Canada before. I'm going to live here now. I'm going to move to Canada. Um, I, I, just, well, I decided because so many Canadians have moved down there. I mean, Peter Cullen is Canadian. Uh, many of the, many of the uh, cast members of Transformers were Canadian. Many of the people that I work with now, Danny Mann, um, Vince Carraza, a lot of the voiceover people are from Canada, so I figured I could return the favor by coming here. Please. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about what it was like uh, back in those days, and then we'll open it up to questions. Um, it was the spring of 1984, and auditions were being held for a new show called Transformers. It was a a show based upon a toy line uh, created by Hasbro. They were robots that turned into different vehicles like planes and automobiles and trucks and what have you. So everybody in town was up for this because it was, a, it was to be 98 episodes. And now that's a lot of work uh, in Hollywood and anytime you can get 95 uh, you know, weeks worth of work, generally one episode done a week, you really wanted that job. So everybody in town was up for it and uh, I was uh, along, along with me, uh, and I received a call back, which is what happens when the producers are interested in you and they'd like to hear more from you. So I went to the call back, and I remember I was sitting in the waiting room waiting to go in to, to, to do the to call back audition, and Wally Burr, our, uh, our voice director, uh, came out into the, into the waiting room and said, hi, Dan, and I said, hey, Wally, how are you? He said, fine. Uh, he said, it must, be, uh, it must feel good to know that you already have a part. I said, what? I, I, yeah, it, it does, I guess. What do you mean? He said, well, they want you to do Bumblebee, but they also think they might want you to do Spike. So they want to hear you read for Spike, too. And so I, I have, to, I have to, uh, to thank Wally again, because he took a lot of pressure off me during that audition. I knew that, that I had the role. Ultimately, of course, uh, the role of Spike went to Corey Burton, the great Corey Burton, uh, simply because Spike and Bumblebee had so much to do together that uh, they figured it wouldn't make any sense for, you know, for, uh, for me to be talking to myself through half, the, half of the episode. So, uh, so I ended up getting Bumblebee. And, I have to tell you, those recording sessions, I have never experienced anything like them since. 